The Ideal Lover. Introduction. Ideal lovers thrive themselves on people with broken dreams. They see themselves as the ultimate antidote to their disappointments and frustrations, providing an escape, if only for a short period of time. They create an illusion that you want to see, thus leading you to a world where you get to experience the dreams you've always wanted to live. Historical context. On one fine evening in 1760, Cologne, a beautiful young woman sat in her box at the opera watching the audience. She was accompanied by her rather dull husband, the town burgomaster. Through her opera glasses, she noticed a rather handsome fellow in a stunning outfit. The handsome man noticed this during the evening, and after the opera finished, he introduced himself. His name was Giovanni Giacomo Casanova. He kissed her hand and she invited him to a ball the following night. He replied, If I might dare to hope, madame, that you will dance only with me. A few days later, he dined at her house and after her boring husband had retired for the evening, she showed him around. She subtly pointed to the chapel situated just outside her window. Casanova took the hint, and the next day he arrived at the chapel to attend Mass. After seeing her at the ball that evening, he mentioned to her that he noticed a secret door that led to her bedroom. She laughed as if surprised, and in the most innocent of tones, Casanova told her that he would hide in the chapel the next day. She whispered into his ear that she would visit him there after everyone had gone to bed. So Casanova indeed hid in the tiny chapel confessional, all day and all evening, amongst the rats, and with no padding to lie upon. When the wife came late at night, he quietly followed her into her bedroom. They continued their affair for several days. She was excited and living in an adventure. She even brought his candles and food to help his stay in the chapel whilst she was away. A few days later, after she had taken a trip with her husband, she came back to see that he had gone. Interpretation Casanova was arguably one of the best seducers in history, but his method would be almost unachievable in today's modern society. His method was simple. Get to know a woman, adapt to her moods, and find out what was really missing in her life and provide it. All it took to seal the deal was one act of victimhood, sleeping in a chapel amongst the rats. This seduction method requires patience and an eye for detail. You must look for subtle cues in their behavior, for example, their tone of voice when it comes to certain subjects, a certain look in the eye, and then mold yourself to fit their ideal. Such a character in today's age would probably be classed as a nice guy. This is because the true meaning of seduction and romance has been hijacked by people who are looking to make money out of people's insecurities. They provide self-help advice masquerading as dating advice. Very little is said about the role that flattery and attention play in a seductive process. In Casanova's own words, the cultivation of the pleasures of the senses was ever my principal aim in life. Knowing that I was personally calculated to please the fair sex, I always strove to make myself agreeable to it. Keys to the character You and I have an idea of what we would like to become, or what we want another person to be for us. This could be due to unrealized dreams, or things people never gave to us. If you were smothered in comfort, then maybe you long for danger and adventure. Our ideal is something we feel is missing inside us. Our ideal often lurks underneath years of disappointment, but when a person seems to possess this ideal quality, or seems to bring it out of us, we fall in love. An ideal lover is attuned to what is missing inside of you, and you do the rest, projecting onto them your deepest desires and yearnings. Casanova made his victims fall in love. The key to following the path of the ideal lover is the ability to observe. Ignore your target's words and conscious behavior. Focus on the tone of their voice. A blush here, a look there. Those signs that betray what their words won't say. Often, 
the ideal is expressed in contradiction.